what are some of the like key use cases or like, you know, like, I, I'm not asking this from the like, so show me the white papers, but I'm trying to say like, what are like some of the like benefits and things that you've seen people like uh, getting from starting to adopt something like this and, and look at their, their whole like supply chain security? Are there any good success stories or, or like practical examples you could share with people? Yeah, I'll talk about one thing that, that wasn't in the demos. Um, so an interesting thing about Quark is that it's not a, you don't look at a single S-bomb at a time. So if you have uh, two different S-bombs for two different projects, and they both have the same dependency, in the graph, you know, the, the nodes and edge graph representation of your supply chain, that'll be the same node. So you'll have uh, two different S-bombs or two different projects that you may care about. Uh, both pointing to the same node in the graph, in your supply chain graph. And what that can allow you to do is count uh, which which packages in my supply chain are the most dependent on. Uh, you know, which ones are, do, do all of my S-bombs point to? Um, and we have some uh, work in the project on that for exact, like, uh, built-in calculations and also, people can do that with third-party uh, integrations to Guac by use, utilizing the GraphQL API to try to do that analysis. Mm -hmm. So I think people that have started loading in um, SBOMs for more than one project have been able to um, uh, you know, extract those insights about their, their supply chain. Uh, similarly, like you might find a package that is old in your supply chain and, and wonder like, why, why do we have this old version of a package uh, and where is it being used? Those sorts of things. 